bathtub dumpster bailing towards me. Let me take one step away. By the way, hashtag George Soros. Dude, you want to exercise your first amendment, right? We you love it. We love it so much. Yep. But the moment you start throwing things and doing things like You this, have the right to peacefully do the Absolutely. And the minute you take that first action, you are right. Dude, I've heard of this. I didn't see this. That's, that's, that's alcohol anonymous. Oh, he's got, he's got the mask of the door up. He's going to put you in the bowl. Oh, they, oh, they, yeah. They whooped his ass. Oh, 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 oh. Look what someone made. <laughs> oh, you assholes. Oh, Christ. Oh, no. Oh, no. I love it. I'm going to pee real quick. All right, all right. We'll take a mean break.
You can tell by the way he uses walk, he's a woman. <laughs> Are you playing Creed? Everybody agrees he sounded like Creed. Without hey, fuck Bear. We were trying to find out where Joe and Zach live and trying to buy a tiger, but it ended Carol up. Carol Basket! It's that big Carol Basket! Cousin Wacken! Listen, we can only get so far on the paycheck of YouTube, alright? We're not all wealthy black rifle golf holders that look like my 1992 cousin. Patty. I'm a <laughs> JT, tell everybody Riot Review and clap your hands if you say Riot Review. Three, two, one, right, well, three, two, one, Riot Review. Three, two, one, Riot Review. Riot Review.
the ranch. Here with the donut operator. Looking good, dude. And donut operator just made an observation. This morning, that girl is wearing Christmas PJs. And also, this girl is. And also, that boy. All of my kids are wearing Christmas long sleeve PJs. And it is not cold outside. No, no, no. It is far from it. It's very hot. Uh, I think it's it's already probably close to 80 this morning. Annie, don't you have other PJs? What? Do you have summer PJs? Link? Nothing else you could wear, huh? This is the way it is. Oh, I look good with my headband on. We are about to go exercise. It's gonna be good. Here's the deal. In my hometown, there's a thing called the Beer Mile coming up, and we're doing a practice run for it because Clint really wants to beat the record, which is a 930 beer mile. So in a beer mile, you chug a beer, you run a quarter mile, you chug another beer, you run another quarter mile, chug another beer, run another quarter mile, chug another beer, run the last quarter mile. So four beers and one mile. We did it with water the other day. I got a 738, you got an 830, Steven got a 10. These guys haven't done it. We're trying to map out exactly where an eighth mile is. So we can start at one point and run an eighth mile and back, and then you drink and run an eighth mile and back. This is, this video is not gonna be my finest hour. I just have a feeling. <sighs> See y'all later! <laughs> Wes, Wes is like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, good stuff. Can't wait to... How are those guys going so fast? Okay, my strategy is nice and slow and easy. And try not to throw up. That's my plan. We run to this telephone pole and turn around. Sorry about that. They pissed off the neighbors. Old people just got mad at us for running next to their property, which technically we weren't on their property, but technically it's not probably the most, uh, yeah, it's, it's just probably frowned upon what we were doing. So we got one eighth, I mean one quarter of a mile in, and now we're packing it up. Yeah! Clay was first, I was second. Wait, and we got them on video yelling at us. Did you really? <laughs> Did they really yell? Yeah, yeah. right after y'all started. Hey! Oh, she was yelling. Yeah. Wow. She just went, hey! All right, let's go. Meredith, you gotta drive. I've had a beer. All right, this is right when we were starting to chug. We all ran off and some lady came out and yelled at us. Hey! And then she came up and yelled at the girls. What'd she say to you guys? She said, what are y'all doing on our property? She's like, y'all are drinking and driving? <laughs> <laughs> no, Meredith's driving. Hey, Meredith, great driving, by the way. You're, you're awesome. <laughs> Hi, we're back at my house, because we can do whatever we want here. <laughs> and we decided we're gonna do the entire race again, so. We're starting over fresh, even though we all have a beer in our belly already. All right, um, so we're running around the barn, and uh, we have to run around two times and then chug. Three, two, one, go. You'll be okay. Okay. <laughs> I got so much for Oh, this isn't. Oh, it's so warm. <laughs> and we're off. The chickens are winning. I'm okay Who's right first? now, but <laughs> three beers in my belly. My strategy is to go walk. Oh, we gotta go two laps, I forgot. Wes, what's happening? No, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> My strategy is to walk. Steven's gonna do the same strategy. Because it's really hard to chug when you're out of breath. So we walk it up slow, catch your breath, and then chug. Got it for 20 bucks. That's going. Competition's on. That was way faster. Dang. Second place as of right now. I'm staying steady behind the first place guy. Jake's gaining on me, I think. We're about to lap Steven. We already lapped Donut and West. I forgot to walk up. Dang it. He's got another lap. That's got that fast chug. 
See ya. Man, Clint got way ahead of me on that one. Looking good, donut. Looking good. Finish strong. Man, Clint's about to lap me. Clint is coming up behind fast. I've lapped half the competition so far. Clint's ahead of me, Jake's behind me. Have a lap of them. I'm gonna walk it in. Clint's finishing his last year right now. Two minutes. Last one. He doesn't have to sprint. They're trying to set records. He's trying to set record. <laughs> you can't lap me. You can't lap me. Get him, Clint. Woo! You can't get me. You can't get me. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, yeah. Open it. Damn it. 923. Yeah. Nice. Good job, babe. Woohoo! record. One more easy lap. Clint's done. At 952 pace. Not pace, time so far. Oh yeah. 1022. Hey! What'd you get? Uh, 920 something? That's a record! <laughs> Woo! Clint's going for gold. Hey Clint, every morning get here, 6 a.m. Sounds good. Four, bring nine. And, wait, he beat that record with an extra beer in his belly. Yeah, that, yeah. I did five beers in a mile and a quarter. <laughs> we were actually just talking about if Robert O'Burst came out and did this, how good he would do. Because he's not a great runner, but he probably has a giant belly and can hold hold some beers. Jake, are you finishing this? Oh yeah. Steven, are you finishing this? Yeah, I'm this is bad. A whole minute behind water and I haven't even got the beer down. Yeah, we practiced with water and it, it did pretty good. All right, we're gonna come back in just a minute. First place, we got Clint in the maroon shirt back here. Second place, that was me. Third place, Jake coming in third. Steven coming in fourth. Donut coming in fifth, he finished. Did not finish. Wes in the red back there. He got a DNF. And uh, the girls didn't participate because they suck. But now we get our prizes. Our prizes are you are allowed to jump in the pool. Hey, when's this race coming up? July 6th. Uh, July 6th. Best day of the year. Pretty soon we are going to enter Clint in as our, our golden boy. Um, he's going to win. Take the. <laughs> Take the trophy home to Bunker Branding. Right. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> we all decided we're not gonna talk anything bad about Wes if he lets one of these two girls, because Mayor uh, said she wouldn't do it, one of these two girls stun gun him in the back. There's one. Okay, she wins, yeah! <laughs> all right, everyone agrees, no one's talking any more bad stuff about Wes's performance today, right? <laughs> That's the deal? Hey, get it out right now. Hey, Wes, you, you really wussed out today. Yeah, Wes. <laughs> you got one last chance. You, I told you, you could do a half mile. Mer <laughs> Meredith, Meredith could have beat you today. Wes, get over there. All right, so what are we doing? You're gonna lay down on the grass in your belly. <laughs> That was it? She, she got me. I did not. No. no. Oh, I don't know. She said she didn't touch you. <laughs> yeah, get him good. Get him good, Kaylee. Get him good. Go. Oh, what was that? What was that? What happened? Don't do the trigger and choice touching. My whole body to <laughs> Dang it, did it happen? It hit him, it went off, and it stopped when I like jammed it into no, his side. No, I'm gonna go no on there. Wes, one more for the boys. For the boys. For the boys. Get him good, Kaylee. 
Make no, this one count. Make contact before you push. Stick, here, stick it on his body. It's not a knife. Get him. Oh! Yeah! Woo! Hey, Wes. Wes, you did great today. Way to go, Wes. And everyone performed well today in the beer mile now. It's settled. When you said that didn't happen? Yeah, you got hit there. Yeah, you're right. Wes manned up and took like three tasers. Just a taste for every lap. A taste for every lap you didn't do. I mean, no, we can't, that's, that could be bad talk. You did great today, <laughs> way to go. We are up at the bunker now, printing all the bullet hole shirts over there, a bunch of them. Thank you guys for the support, and we wanted to show Donut uh, the bunker. We uh, are expanding a little bit up here at the bunker. We're still building a bigger bunker branding, it's just taking way longer, so we have to do some stuff temporarily to get us through until then. Uh, we let them pick out some shirts and hats. I didn't tell you that hat you picked up, it's not even a Demolition Ranch hat. That's a Nicholas Irving Reaper hat, but it is a cool hat. <laughs> he, he he's like, I want to rep you, and he picked up Nick's hat. <laughs> it's because I thought it was funny. It is a cool hat. No, you should get that one. It's a good one. It's a good one. We're trying to wow Donut with the bunker, and he's you're gonna kind of start doing the same kind of stuff with your skateboard shop pretty soon, right? Yeah, that'd be cool. Sort of. I'll honestly probably go through you for her. What? He said it here first, folks. Now you have to you have to do it because the internet just heard it. So Hello, Daddy. Hi girlfriend. Hello, Daddy. Donut operator is leaving now, heading to the airport and getting out of Texas. Thanks for coming. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to Donut Operator's channel. Go check him out. He does some pretty cool stuff and he's about to hit one million subscribers. All right, thanks to you. And we no, it wasn't me. <laughs> and we wanna help him get there faster. So Go check him out. He's a pretty cool dude, and now he's repping the Demolition and Nick Irving. So, <laughs> <laughs> bye. Good seeing you. See you Thanks for coming. Bye, Kaylee. Bye. Good seeing you. Thanks for staying with us, and have safe travels. Whoever uh, can name this song first in the comments, I will pin you. And it's a trick because the song's in a different language. Meredith, what did you think about the events that transpired today? Are you guys having like a nail, nail salon in here? My house smells like a nail salon right now. Did were you proud of me? So proud. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, thanks. That's what I was hoping you would say. I knew. I knew you were just thinking like, man, I just can't wait to tell Matt. How proud I am to be his wife, how lucky I am <laughs> that I, Meredith Carriker, am married to the second place finisher in the uh, the ranch beer run this morning. Uh, it went really good. Yeah, I mean, I I get it, but like, if, if people were like out in front of my house doing silly stuff like that, I would be a little annoyed, I get that, but, if they weren't hurting anybody, I let it go. I ran a 1022 beer mile, and I definitely have said this before in this video, and I want to emphasize that was when I'd already run a quarter mile and had already put a beer in my belly before even starting it. So, uh, thanks, Link. So, the real beer mile is coming up, and we're all entering it again, and we're all gonna have one less beer and one quarter less mile um, affecting our bodies before we start, and so hopefully. I guess I'm gonna go for a sub 10. The record was 9.30 or something. Clint beat it today, even with everything against him. I was not far off from it, so that's that's what I'm going for. Really, really big aspirations in my life. <laughs> go check out Donut Operator. Donut, thanks for hanging with me. You're super cool, and I had a lot of fun with it. He was a really good sport today. Yeah, he was. He was. He, he, uh, we kind of sprung the beer mile on him. I was like, hey, tomorrow we're gonna do this beer mile thing. You in? And he's like, I'm down for whatever. So. Thanks for coming, Donut. Appreciate it. We had kind of a wild week with creators, but it was super fun. So uh, the How Ridiculous guys and Donut Operator, uh, you guys are welcome back to Texas and to the ranch anytime. Thanks for watching Off the Ranch. We love you. We'll see you next time. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number... Shut up! <laughs> Don't tell Mayor.
Changing max. I have an attachment here. Enemy hello incoming. Armored enemies inbound. Enemy hello incoming. Armored target, moving on your position.
inbound. Eyes up. Armored enemies inbound. Need air support on my location. Changing max. Changing max. Reloading. Actual, we need air support. Dropping ammo. Going in. Okay. Need air support on my location.
Changing max. Mark out moving. Wait, cancel that. Dropping armor. Actual, we need air support. Okay. Sniper's in the area. Hunt them down. Armored enemies inbound. Yo. Uh, how's it going? How's it going, guys? Not too much. Somebody's having a connection problem. <laughs> F. Oh, yeah. Somebody can't connect. They're here. In spirit. In spirit. It's weird that it shows. Oh. Maybe that. I can. I can have some problems. 
where he like can't connect or anything. Oh. So I've been playing the Modern Warfare survival mode. Uh -huh. And probably uh, on average, I don't know, people get to like wave 20 or 30, and by then that's like Take almost back. half an hour, I don't know, something like that. Right, <laughs> right now, I'm at the, uh, one of the maps, and I've been playing this for hours. Right now I'm on wave 115. Reloading. Jeez. <laughs> Am I gonna stream it? Uh, I'm currently joining my avatar for great now. Oh yeah. Sorry. Avatar 3.0 brain time. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very small. Are you back? It's still working? Yeah, no way. Oh, there you go. There we go. I'm gonna come beer now, so be right back. Okay. okay. And like, they try to make it harder. Like as time goes on, and normally you get like 30 seconds in between waves, mm -hmm. and then that kind of like gradually goes down, like every 10 waves. So now, to go get your supplies and everything to get ready for the next waves, you only have three seconds. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's not enough time. You literally have to camp. The place where you buy your shit, so you can run in, get it, and go back and hide. Absolute chaos. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh shit. I wish I could see the elapsed time, cause this has been for going on for hours. Take the pain, you're fine. <laughs> That's what I need. Okay. And it was like three of us. One guy left once. Once we hit like a hundred and two, and he had like two thousand some kills. I have <laughs> eighteen hundred. The guy with me has. Um, 2,900 kills. <laughs> it's just ridiculous.
Before we get into the video, I just wanted to mention my sponsor, Simply Safe. It's incredibly effective, reliable home security that will make sure your home is safe. But hey, guess what? You don't have to use it at your home. You can also use it at your small business. I use Simply Safe at my skate shop, meaning it's professionally monitored 24/7. If anything happens, they'll make sure police get called. Simply Safe is really easy and intuitive to use. They have some really thoughtful features, like sensors to cover every single window and door in my business. They have fair and honest prices, and it's equipped for the worst-case scenarios, meaning the system will still work if you lose power. Or Wi-Fi. I was interested in using Simply Safe at my shop because, well, I use it at my home and it works really well. We use several different kinds of sensors in the shop that would alert us if anyone was to break in. One of my favorite features is the noise the base station makes when a customer walks in. If you are interested in your own Simply Safe system, please check out simplysafe.com/donutoperator. You can find the link in the comments and description below. Here we go. Pulls up on the kid, a teenager, who had illegally pulled someone over. <laughs> He's wearing like blue jeans with a polo tucked in. He's got red and white lights. No blue lights whatsoever. <laughs> is, is the cop sneaking up on him? This is a, yeah, this is a felony. He's wearing like a belt with the little holes in it. No gun, not like he's not. He's not even wearing like police stuff. The cringe is super real already. Oh no, he's got a little badge. Do you see that? He's got a little badge right there when he turns around. The cop knows. He knows already. Like. Oh no, he said he works for the sheriff's department. Why does he think he can get away with that? Like, already. If he bought all this sh pulling people over, he should know that, like, at least he cannot get away with this. Like, cell phones don't exist. They can't call the sheriff's department and be like, this guy worked for you. Not that, you know, you can't tell he doesn't work for anyone. I, I know, I'm under equipped. Normally you do. Panicking. I'm under equipped. <laughs> This guy definitely watches my videos, by the way. I mean, this, is, this is all I got. I mean, like I said, I'm under, I'm under equipped. I was just heading over there to the courthouse. To the courthouse for what? To get my crap. Okay. I know, it makes no sense. I caught him going 120 down I-40. Okay. Why do you have lights on this vehicle? Personal. I, I know. Do you have an ID with you at all? No, I keep it on my uniform. Okay. I was going to get my crap. Oh Christ! What what cop would be that nervous with another cop pulling up? A unit and see if there is a VCSO supervisor that can come to my twenty. Oh! Ah, he requested a sheriff's department supervisor to come to the traffic stop to confirm. So you're probably thinking right now, like, this person is either not a cop, or they're boot, and they're doing a bunch of stupid right now. Oh, he's standing at parade rest right now. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that. Another car drove off. For sure, ROTC. 100%. Man. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not here yet. It's, and I'm not here to mess with you, man. It's just the thing is, yeah, he was speeding, dude. You could have called it in. And because if you get into shooting, you're, you're screwed. Right. All right, man. There's no telling how many times he's done this. And, like, what if he actually pulled over a hard mother? 
that just pulled a gun out and shot him. You know, he's not wearing a vest. He's not wearing any. He's not wearing anything. He's got a studded belt and Air Force hat on. Yeah, <laughs> Noxert said the other car was like, "I'm gonna just go ahead and leave." <laughs> I, I understand. Uh, it, it, this, for starters, I know this looks really bad. This looks really bad. Uh, s screams whacker. Right. How long you been on? About three years. I've been on for like 13 years. All right, so. Dude, he's just, he's just, he's just digging that hole. Oh man. I've been on for like 13 years. All right, so. <laughs> he goes. <laughs> Put the shovel down. That's it. All right. Once we once we're done here, um, we're done. All right. So just give me a bit. All right. He went full sheepdog, dude. Jeeves, you're more of a cop than he is, bud. It was whacker. I'm just start using that term so much now. Anytime anything's foobar or you know a soup sandwich, I'm just gonna say whacker. This video, like my next shooting video, that's just nutty. I'm gonna be like, this video is straight whacker. I should get a t-shirt that says Whacker on it, and it shows his face when he goes. He should have stayed home and Whackered. Um, in the meanwhile, man, until I get somebody out here, man, do me a favor. I'm not going to handcuff you, but I'm going to have you sit in back, back of my car, all right? All right. Do you have anything <laughs> else, man? Any weapons or anything? Okay. Um, that's fine. Just have a seat, all right? All right. Try to get, get everything cleared up, man. Um, just have a seat. The kid's even trying to like sound irritated about being put in the back of the car. Like, I'm another cop. Do you hear him? He's like, all right. <laughs> that was definitely the officer on his cell phone in his group chat with all his buddies who were working that shift and probably some of his deputy buddies from around there. And he's like, this stupid mother. F I just, I just got out on. <laughs> they're, they're texting back. They're like, there's no way he stood at parade rest. <laughs> We're in 2001. Yeah, the closest captioning is shh. He said, if you want to come with me, we're going to handcuff him, but the subtitles said, she was. <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh. Howdy. <laughs> Very close to finishing this. Yeah. How it be? How, how be it? It be the cold. <laughs> cold? Yeah. Yeah, it's getting cold it's... here, too. It's actually yeah. not hot for once. I think. Not five degrees. Uh, a little more than five degrees. It's a little over five degrees Celsius. Where you are? Yeah, Celsius. Yeah. Nice. Here we're <laughs> getting lucky, and it's just now getting to like fifteen. <laughs> yeah, that's that's nice. Like fifteen degrees. Yeah, it's a lot better than fifty. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Um, although it should go down i mean like winter is just now starting for us so hmm. it should uh, get better yeah you wouldn't believe it we had rain <laughs> like it just drizzled a bit but that was amazing uh -huh. where i was did everybody drizzled. lose their driving skills <laughs> um not necessarily hmm. um <laughs> kind of People do kind of know how to drive here because everyone drives crazy, so it's like if you want to <coughs> stay on the road and not have an accident every day, you have to get good. Mm. Like, that should be the slogan for driving in Saudi. Get good. <laughs> you're, you legit have to get good, or you're going to have accidents all the time. Mm. I do 
everything seems right, I might be able to test it. Now, now I'm at wave 123. <laughs> By zombies? No, um, Modern Warfare uh, survival mode. Ah. I don't know how many hours it's been. It's like those memes, like, I don't know what time it is. It's been so long, I've been playing this game. I don't know what when I started the match. I don't know what's going on, I need to go pee, but there's no time. There's literally the gap. It's probably 30 seconds, but because I'm so, we're so high in the waves, I only get 3 seconds between waves to go and grab ammo and everything. That's it, just 3 seconds. And then that's it, you can't buy anything for the rest of the wave.
No. No. <laughs> Lost connection to host. Oh, rip. New update available. Please update the game via launcher. Did you? My jimmies have been rustled. <laughs>